Hey guys, it's no secret that iOS 7 battery life is considerably bad. After I updated my iPhone 5, I noticed that the battery life was just awful, and I don't notice it as much on my iPhone 5S because the battery is a little bit bigger. However, on older devices, the battery life just sucks. And in this video, I'm going to show you some tips to help you extend and get the most out of your battery life on iOS 7. Starting from most to least effective, we're going to go into settings, general, background app refresh, and disable this, or just disable the individual applications you don't need it for. This, I notice, is the number one battery draw feature in iOS 7. Next, we're going to go into accessibility and disable the motion. So we're going to turn on reduce motion. Make sure it's on. That way, when you rotate your springboard, you won't actually see the effect and it does reduce the amount of battery life your device eats. Next, go into privacy, location services. In here, go to system services and disable everything that you don't need here. And go into frequent locations. If it's something you don't need, you can turn it off. And basically, a lot of these I won't even be using. Like, I never use my compass. Uh, popular near me, don't really need that. Setting time zone. Basically, turn off everything that you don't need. And whether or not it affects you, you can come back and enable it at any time. Next, we're going to go into the applications from iTunes and App Store. And we're going to disable the automatic downloads for music apps and updates because this does work in the background and honestly i do like to see what the changes are before i update my applications and whether or not i should so i just decided to turn that off so it doesn't work in the background and drain my battery life next if we go into the mail application you should actually go into here and turn push off so now it just fetches new data whenever you go into the mail application and refresh it manually another very important one is to go into the notification center and disable everything you don't need here go into here go through all of these like do i need a game center up here no i can easily go in and remove all of that from my notifications menu and that way i just increase the efficiency by a little bit so it won't be reminding me of that and draining battery life in doing so. So go through here and remove everything that you don't need. Now I've noticed also that on iOS 7.0.2, the battery life is just a little bit better for me. It could be a placebo, but you guys want to go ahead and go into general software update and update to 7.0.2 if you haven't already. That's probably a very major point. You always want to be on the latest firmware to ensure the maximum efficiency of your device. Also, you want to go into privacy again, scroll down to advertising, and enable limit ad tracking. That way your device doesn't use battery life knowing what you go through and how it should advertise for you. Now, if you guys aren't using Wi-Fi, you're away from your house, always make sure to use your control center down here to go ahead and disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Bluetooth is very important. Now I do use it in my car, so when I go into my car, my Bluetooth is always on, but I do remember to slide this up and just disable it after I leave. That way Bluetooth isn't draining my battery. Now if you do need Wi-Fi on, make sure to ask to join networks is off. That way your device isn't constantly searching for a Wi-Fi network. Now understandably brightness, of course, is a direct correlation between battery life and usability, so you know, adjust it accordingly how it suits you. I usually keep auto brightness off and put it around halfway. And just a couple last ones. If you guys go into general about and scroll down to diagnostics and usage and select don't send, this will actually prevent battery loss as well in a very small amount though, because your device is constantly, if it's crashing, it's constantly taking that info and uploading it to Apple, which is using battery life in the background. And a very minor one, if you go into general, scroll down to date and time and disable set automatically. Now you wouldn't want to do this if you travel often between time zones. It just saves a couple minutes maybe of battery life. So that's it guys. This is how to save battery life in iOS 7. Hopefully Apple will come out with a fix in iOS 7.0.3 or 7.1 that will address our battery issues. So have a great day guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.